thunderstorm is waiting for Aisha Juma as she waits to be vetted in parliament. Parliament finally has been officially opened by the President William Ruto. The truth to be said, Aisha Juma is having two main problems. That if truly this member of parliament, they take oath to protect the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and also they do care about those people that Aisha Juma is going to serve as the cabinet secretary, then the truth that is going to come out is that Aisha Juma is likely not to pass through parliament. And in any case, that Aisha Juma will not pass through the parliament and through that vetting, it means that William Samaruto will be given another chance to appoint another cabinet secretary to represent that position that Aisha Juma did not succeed or did not pass through the parliament. I want us to look at the scenarios, the reasons why Aisha Juma is likely to be rejected by some member of parliament, the bigger percentage member of parliament of IZMUS and also some part of member of parliament of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Something that I do understand very well is that Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they will favor Aisha Juma because it is the president and their boss that has appointed Aisha Juma. But this is the reality that must come to pass. That in any case that Aisha Juma, some percentage of member of parliament from Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will not support him or will not vote for, uh, no, not him, sorry, I've said him and uh, she's a female. If some part of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance member of parliament will not support her, it means that his bid an appointment will not be beneficial to her. Now, do you remember when Aisha Juma was in a court and was having cases? And the main reason was that the certain supporter of ODM that was killed. And this person that was killed, it was claimed that Aisha Juma and her bodyguard, they killed this man. And of course, according to the judgment of the court, what was directed was that Aisha Juma was to, um, to answer those accusations. And also there was a penalty. But I have not seen anywhere that Aisha Juma was, um, was able to uh, pay those penalties. Then the question that people are asking themselves, Aisha Juma is having a lot of cases. This one that was uh, the issue of killing, the issue of um, misappropriation of the CDF funds, and that is the reality. One thing that you must realize is that Aisha Juma, if any case, she will not be able to answer the, the questions that uh, is going to be asked in the parliament, it means that that confidence that this member of parliament they could have been having towards her it means that this might be derailed by the answer that you will uh, answer the member of parliament number two the big issue is that aisha juma is being derailed in terms to the papers one thing that i've seen certain member of parliament are arguing when it comes to um, people like i think some member of parliament from Azimio uh, are asking this question that Aisha Juma's papers are not so much um, perhaps making her to qualify to be the cabinet secretary uh, perhaps of uh, the gender. One thing that you must realize is that there are several members of parliament that were accused not having eligible and qualified certificates. And Asha Juma is among those people that their certificate are being questioned. And in any case that this issue of certificate is going to be questioned, then found that Asha Juma did not uphold, of course, is she's not upholding 
the legit certificate or degree, it means that there are certain questions that is going to be asked. But wait, ladies and gentlemen, this issue of education is nowadays not so much important in terms to this leadership. Because I do remember this, um, this sarcasm, this drama of Sakaja um, being derailed that he did not study in Uganda where uh, I think Tim University that um, he did not qualify. But in fact, when I was looking at that case, I realized there were certain individuals that tried their best to ensure that though Sakaja did not qualify, but it seems like and he looked like Sakaja qualified and he was uh, to be cleared by IBC to vie for the gubernatorial race in Nairobi County. But wait, I want us to look in detail this issue of Aisha Juma. The thunderstorm that is waiting Aisha Juma, in case this problem is going to rise in the parliament, that for example, the certain member of parliament, for example, in the side of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance that have not uh, reported to the parliament, then the bigger percentage of Azimio responded to the parliament and the popular in parliament, it means that Aisha Juma might be affected. And this is the reason. If any case, this Azimio team will vote against Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and they will succeed, seems like they are popular, then it means that, okay, Aisha Juma will not uh, pass that test and will not pass that vetting. Because vetting is where, uh, of course, member of parliament are, are vetting and wanna pick a musasa to ensure that um, that person that is going to be to be given that office, that person that is going to be given, for example, instrument of power, is going to, uh, of course, uh, going to deliver and is going to be a legible expert to ensure that he's going to do whatever he has been entailed to do. But for me, I think Aisha Juma, if it is not bias, without bias, I want to say that Aisha Juma does not qualify to be the cabinet secretary. In fact, when you compare Aisha Juma and Ketu Waruguru, at least Ketu Waruguru than Aisha Juma. Because when you look at the experience, Aisha Juma, is, uh, she's been always having this issue of in, incompetence, the issue of delivering to the people. And when you look even at the constituency level that she was leading, is showing a true indication that she's not eligible to deliver. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Is this thunder that is waiting for Aisha Jume going to be uh, is this going to be uh, uh, eligible? So I want to request you with a humble heart, is Aisha Juma going to pass the vetting? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you're a visitor, please subscribe to this channel. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.